Hi, I'm Dave Cross. This is tutorial for CS5 Mixer Brush. While it's not an everyday tool, the Mixer Brush has an interesting option because it treats your colors differently than a regular brush. Normally, you paint with a color, end of story. With the Mixer Brush, you have to imagine almost like your paint is wet and you're going to start mixing it all together. Let's take a look. So I've created a simple document just with three bars of color so I can show you the difference. When I have my regular brush and I pick some color, it paints and basically just ignores anything underneath it. If I switch to the mixer brush, which is found in the same set of brushes, then all my options up at the options bar change. Now there's a lot of options up here, and the best thing I can suggest to you is you try an option and then undo and try a different option. I'm going to choose to clear my brush so I have nothing loaded as a color, and then I just have to also decide what kind of brush I want. I'm going to use a more unusual brush. And now you can see when I do this, let's make our brush a little bigger using the right bracket key. If I start in the red area and sort of push, you can see it's as if the red paint is wet. And if I go the other direction, you'll see now it's mixing the colors back and forth. So the angle and distance I push is going to make a difference. So people use this for lots of purposes, including making something from a photograph into a painting or just making unusual backgrounds. And again, be sure to experiment with all these settings. And remember, it's like you're working with wet paint. Now, as I mentioned, there's a ton of options for the mixer brush tool. And the best thing you can do is try some setting, paint a little bit, and then undo it and try a different setting. And that way, you'll start to discover the settings you like the most for the mixer brush.